हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू जावाई जेसम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द स्ट्रिंग बफर इन जावा ओके सो बेसिकली व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रिंग बफर स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर और स्ट्रिंग सो दो जार लुक लाइक ए सेम बट हैविंग ए सम डिफरेंसेस इन द इंटरनली सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज सो मेनी इंटरव्यूअर विल आस्क यू हे कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी वेन आई विल टेक string buffer when i will take a string builder or when i go with the string and that is the very very important questions if you don't know about it you can't take the proper string format or form for example i want some advantage so i can go with the string buffer if you if you have some other advantage you can go with the string builder but you have to give the reason you have to give some proper answer hey if i feel like okay i have to store data like that and i have to do those uh, operations in that then uh, i can go with uh, that data type and otherwise i can go with the string buffer or a string builder or otherwise a string so you have to proper knowledge on that so we are going to discuss in this video everything okay so what is the string buffer so you have to learn also okay when i read this uh, sentences you have to also read so that you can understood in the better way okay so here if you see in the screen a string buffer is a class yeah a string buffer is a class a string builder is a class a string is a class yeah fine in java that provides a way in java that provides a way way to create and manipulate a string in a thread safe manner so i think you don't know what is the thread safe but thread safe means uh, just understand like you have a one resource and we are giving the permission to access this resources one by one not at the at the multiple peoples will access the same resource at the same time okay so we are restricting we to, uh, is we are restricting some resource to access one by one that is called thread set not giving the access to all of the people to access the same resources at the same time that is called a thread set okay which means that can be safely used by the multiple threads simultaneously without any data corruptions issue so it means that for example if we talk about the multiple thread so what is the multiple thread so when i go to the thread uh, we, when we learn the thread that time i will explain like what is the multiple thread how we can create a multiple thread and how we can uh, use the thread class okay so basically thread means uh, we ha we have a one system and in the system having a multiple powers multiple execution processing parallel processing okay so at the same time i am operating my system and i am typing something i am playing music also i am uh, creating a video also so those are the multiple tasks we are doing the simultaneously but uh, different different threads are doing those tasks okay so that means that we are doing the thread safely so that uh, data corruption is not happen in our system okay i will explain it in the deftly later so basically we have to understood uh, a string builder class a string buffer provides a multiple uh, sorry so a string builder classes a string buffer classes provides a mutable string mutable string means i already explain mutable means uh, something like uh, for example i create one string uh, a st A string str equal to hello, and again I will try to create hello word, okay, and I will concatenate with the plus in the string. So what will become? It will create one new string. But if you go with the string buffer or the string builder, it will not create the new string. It will append in the existing string only. That is called a string. is mutable or immutable let me explain it otherwise maybe you not understood so here for example i will create one string s equal to hello fine so i have created one string what i will do is i will create one more string 
or uh, what can I do is I will write uh, s only s equal to I will write uh, s plus s plus something like world world so if I create like that it means that this is the one string that is already created and here one string created and if you go with this one s equal to s plus world so here also one new string will be created a string will created so this is we are doing with the help of the string so because of that we are saying a string class is immutable immutable okay understood but if I talk about the string buffer or a string builder and if I create any object with the string builder builder b equal to new string builder and if I give inside this anything anything for example hello only okay and again I try to append so a string does not have a, any method to concatenate okay or append something like that and it will store the object okay so if you do the concatenate with the plus definitely it will store those data inside the uh, it will create a new object for that but if you do with the string builder so a string builder having a append method so what we can do b dot append b dot append if you leave this one like that and if you try to print what is the s so s will be print hello only so because of that it will changes is not happen okay if you do the concatenate also here s dot concatenate catenate also it will not store the data in the s still if you print the s it will give the output is nothing but hello only okay if you print the s it will give the output is hello only it will not give hello world okay so because of that we are saying like it will create a new object only and if you store this object then only you can use it otherwise no but in the string builder or a string buffer if you create a object with the hello and a string buff builder having a method called append so if you use the append or concatenate okay so and if you use it and if you try to append anything okay anything like hello world okay if you try to write like that and if you try to print s out so that time it will give output is hello world w r l -E, hello world if you give like that okay so this means that it will not create a new object what it will do it will append in the existing object append in existing object that means this string buffer a string buffer or a string builder is mutable mutable class okay i hope you understood and it's a clear for you okay if you have any doubt still please let me know definitely i will explain in the better way okay let's go to the our slide and here you can see like uh, those uh, mutable string which means that you can modify the constant uh, contents of the string buffer objects after it had been created also so here is the example how you can use it a string buffer in java and this is the like we have created a string buffer s b equal to new string buffer we have append the hello append the world now if you print it it will print hello world okay so this is the things 
okay let me talk about use of the string buffer and the string builder in java and it's a very very important also when you go with the real time programming in the general if you need to modify a string frequently modify frequently means every time you are try to modify some data or adding some data inserting some data deleting some data that means generally modifying frequently like very fastly we will long a string from the many small parts you should consider using the string buffer or the string builder instead of the string class so in that case you can go with the string buffer and the string builder if you go with the string class very low performance okay if you don't need to worry about the thread safe go with the string builder it is usually the better choice because it's a faster than the string buffer okay so a string builder is a faster than a string buffer why because a string builder is not thread safe so it's clearly saying like if you don't need to worry about thread safe go with the string builder but you have to take care the thread safe also no my string want thread safe then we can go with the a string buffer class only here is the some common use case for the string buffer and a string builder we can go to the next slide and we can see so here concatenating a string so if you do the concatenating of the string both classes are the useful for the concatenating like a string buffer and a string builder but uh, especially when we need to concatenate can concatenate many string together for example a string builder and we have to append so many strings then you can go with a string builder that is the best case modify the string then you can go with the string buffer both classes are the useful for the modify the string especially when you need to insert delete or replace character in the string for example then go with the string buffer because it will make and ensure you like this will be thread safe building a long string so building a long string when you need to build a long string from the many or small parts of the string so in that time you can go with the string buffer and builder but the efficient then the concatenating a string using the plus operator for example a string builder you can take so these are the differences between the string buffer and the string builder you can go one by one and you can understood so here a string buffer is a synchronized okay and a string builder is non synchronized means not a thread safe and thread safe okay buffer a string buffer is less efficient than a string builder and a string builder is more efficient than the a string buffer in the compare of the time complexity because uh, a string buffer is uh, making the thread safe so that's why it's a little bit slow but a string buffer is, uh, builder is not take care of the thread safe so it's a little bit fast a string buffer was introduced in the java 1.0 but a string uh, builder was introduced in the java 1.5 version note a string buffer and a string builder both classes are the located in the java.link package so in the java.link package is available a string also a string buffer also a string builder also you can go and check out what is the string versus a string buffer versus a string so you have to just uh, like a string versus a string buffer versus a string builder you can just see this slide and you can understood what are the differences between them so if some interviewer or some of the peoples will maybe the ask like what are the differences between them so you can simply say like a string is a mutable immutable which means that once a string object is created it cannot be modified every time modify a string object a new object is created which can be the inefficient if you need to modify a string frequently okay so that is not a good case for the modify the string a string builder is a mutable a string uh, buffer is a similar to the string builder only but the only difference is the thread shape okay so you can give the some example like that advantage of the string buffer so these are the advantage if you go with the buffer you can take the advantage of the thread safe mutable and dynamics disadvantage is the uh, um, like a, st a string buffer is performance is low memory uses and uh, like limited functionality you can get it okay this is the advantage of the string builder so it's a high performance mutable and dynamics you can go with the slide you can understood disadvantage of the string builder so you can pause the like videos and learn this uh, 
whole slide and try to understand if you have any doubt or not okay so disadvantage of the string builder is not thread safe limited functionality and memory usage is more okay so that is not a disadvantage that is something like uh, comparison between the string buffer and the string builder okay in the upcoming video we can talk about uh, more string logical questions and some of the method which is we have not discussed as of now related to the string buffer string builder or a string and we can do the some operations on that so that you can understood in the better way but as of now whatever i have covered in this video please go with the slide and learn each and every words and try to understand what exactly it's saying okay thank you so much